Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We have an amazing new application that is going to blow your mind. We're going to show you how to get it on your Miracle Box 3.0 when we return. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have an amazing new application, and we're going to show you how to instantly get it on your Miracle Box 3.0 today. Now, also, I want to address a question that was asked by uh, one of our subscribers, and that question was, what type of service do we provide with the Miracle Box 3.0? And I'm going to answer that question right here in this video as well. Even though this is a tutorial video, I'm going to answer that question. And to answer that question is, not only do you get the world's most powerful media center when you purchase the Miracle Box, you also get technical support and you get a technology team that works around the clock for you. Now, why is that necessary? Well, with streaming media entertainment, Technology evolves all the time. And being the fact that there are a lot of third-party add-ons that provide these entertainments, a lot of times you have to think the developer may or may not continue to support that add-on. And then sometimes that add-on may have technical difficulties, meaning that the repository could break, dependencies could break, or maybe the link has changed or the developer didn't support it anymore, or you may have a broken URL resolver. So there's a lot of technical aspects that go into open source media. And it's almost a full-time job to keep up with what's going on. And you do have add-ons that sometimes die. And for the average person who just wants to watch uh, TV using open source media, well, that can lead to a lot of pain and frustration and agony because when you download some of these add-ons, you don't know if they're going to work. You might be watching a YouTube video that gives you an instructional tutorial, but that YouTube video could be pretty dated and you're getting information that's no longer valid. And if you download the add-on and it doesn't work, you have to figure out if you have the right version, if you have the right dependency that matches that version, or maybe is it pulling from the right source. So it's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And most people will say, oh, it's just easy. Just download this and you're all set. Well, if it was that easy, then we wouldn't be in business. And a lot of senior citizens, they're not going to keep up with the ever-changing uh, platform and evolution of streaming because it happens too often. One day something might work, and one day something won't work. As a matter of fact, let's take a little time here to uh, go over um, some of the things that are either dead, dying, or uh, are injured. So we're going to do that right now. So let's put up a little screen. First of all, if you're wondering, Aries Wizard is dead. If you're wondering, Exodus is pretty much on life support. Covenant is pretty injured, but it still functions. We have the latest version for that. Salts is dead. Prime Wire is dead. And other movie applications such as um, Triangulum and Oculus, they are kind of injured. And those are new ones that people have reviewed and they don't pull everything. And also even one of the latest ones called Myriad, a lot of the stuff that you get, you get a lot of links, but they actually are dead links. And sometimes you will get a lot of movies that have a Spanish interpretation. So it's not really worth uh, kind of bringing to your attention as an add-on. So now that we got that covered, let's get into something that does work. Ladies and gentlemen, behind me, I want you to pay attention to an application that we've added. And let me move out the way here. Scoot, scoot, scoot. And let's review it, and then I'm going to show you how to get it. So we're going to go down to Open Media Center, and this is the latest uh, update from Miracle Box. And as you see here, there is something that's going to be on here called the Ultimate App. Now, we love this. We tested it. It works beautifully, and it's going to really increase your chances of getting HD movies and TV shows and your chances of getting a lot of working links and it does have a lot of ads in it, meaning that you know, you're gonna see a lot of ads that may pop up, but we can show you how to avoid those. So let's get right in here and take a look at it. I'm gonna go to enter. And it is this application right here. Everything loads beautifully, it plays beautifully, it is lovely, and we're gonna get into just playing something uh, randomly. There's a lot of TV shows on here. It even has a search feature where, if you, can, where you wanna search things, you can. 
So up here is the search feature. Up here, you have the categories that you can get to. So we, we're in TV shows. You can go to movies. And you can actually browse your movies here. And we're going to actually go into one of the movies here just to kind of show you. I'll just kind of pick, uh, let's just pick Planet of the Apes. So I'm going to select it. And it's going to give me a small overview. And the great thing about it is on your MiracleBox 3.0 remote, there's a play button. I can hit this play button and it will actually start to play and find links for this movie. And it's going to give me a lot of choices, which is why I like this. And as it goes through and gives me the choices, which they popped up right here, I'm going to hit a lot of stuff that's in 1080. So I'm going to go through, I'm just going to click on the first one. I'm going to press OK. It's going to ask me if I want to play it. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to wait. And it's going to actually load my movie. And like clockwork, there's my movie. It's coming in 1080p, no problem, no issues. And then I got so many links that, hey, it doesn't matter. So this is a really, really great application. And to avoid the ads, here's what I do. I press home. And I go to Open Media Center, and I just go right back into it, and I'm into it again. So, I know you're excited about what you just saw, so we're going to go inside the box and show you how to get this latest ultimate application on your MiracleBox 3.0 right now. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your MiracleBox 3.0 plugged up and on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that you got your box on, let's get started. Now, please make sure before you start to watch this part of the video that you are in an environment with no distractions because the things that we're gonna do here in this video are things you're gonna be doing for the first time. And we're gonna be using our Miracle Updater in a way that we've never used it before. So it's gonna be a little bit different. And the reason why we're doing this so we can push this download to our 40,000 customers who will need to get this on their miracle box and we want to make sure that we are having a distribution system that works for everyone so pay close attention to this video follow everything and we're going to begin all right now the first thing that you want to do is when you have your miracle box 3.0 turned on you're going to come to this screen as a precaution you want to make sure that nothing is running in the background some of you may have downloaded some apps from your Google Play Store and they may automatically come on when you turn your box on to ensure none of that happens we need to go with closing everything down that's in the background so we can have a successful download so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna go to an app called close all apps now when you get to it it's gonna actually protrude out from the rest of the boxes and be a little bit bigger and that way you know you have selected it what you want to do after you select it is you want to press the OK button on your miracle box remote or your keyboard remote and you want to wait for it to close everything and you will get confirmation right here that black screen lets you know everything is closing nothing is running in the background so it's going to give us the most successful chance of having a good good download now the next thing that we want to do is we want to go and we actually want to now update the media center and what we're going to do to do that is we're going to use the update miracle box our miracle box updater so we're going to go down again and we're going to go over to the last box in the first row which is update miracle box we're going to press ok now you're going to see things that you've already seen before you're going to see install cody install miracle build and update miracle build and the selection that you make is going to always be highlighted in dark blue for the purposes of, of what we're doing here we're going to go to install miracle build this will be where you're going to get all the newest build updates from so what we're going to do is we're going to press ok and when you press ok it's going to ask you local or remote now if you've never used this before it'll just go right into downloading but if you are just using this to update then it's going to ask you local or remote and you want to choose remote so I'm going to go choose remote and once you choose remote then it's going to start to download now what this is doing it is bringing in the latest and greatest open source miracle box media build 
and it will replace your Cody and give you the freshest things that we have available. So we wanna do that so we can actually have an update on the build. Now this process will take anywhere from five to 10 minutes if you have 50 megabytes or over. If you have about 15 to 20, that process could take up to 15 minutes to propagate. Now, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna fast forward this. So if you have to take a bathroom break and you wanna pause this video, you can do that while your box is actually continuing to download because that process, again, will take five to 10 minutes. Or you can do something that you need to do that will take five to 10 minutes. And you can actually have this video on pause and come back what we're going to do for the purposes of time is we're going to fast forward this process so you can get to the next step as quickly as possible since this is a tutorial video. So we're going to begin the fast forward process now and kind of get to the end of this part to get to the next. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if that process was successful for you, then you will have a message that says Cody data successfully restored. And that's how you know you just downloaded the latest Miracle build. So from here, grab your remote and press OK. And stay right here. We're not done yet. We have one more uh, thing to do. Now, we're going to go down to the button beneath it called Update Miracle Build. You're going to see me do that now. And so using your remote, scroll down and highlight Update Miracle Build in that dark blue. And we're going to download something else. Now, we used to use this to update the recent Miracle Build, but we're actually going to change the functionality of this button and use it as a way to send you and, dis and use a distribution of APKs to send out to all of our customers. So this will be used to send out different applications rather than using it to download a build, which is something that we could do in the previous button. So let's do that right now. We're gonna press okay. And it's gonna ask us again, local or remote. We're gonna choose remote. Now this will go by lightning quick, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna press remote. And this should take a few seconds. So this is gonna download the APKs and applications that we wanna to send to you guys. And it's gonna do it pretty quickly. So we're gonna use this in the future to send you any new app that we discover that's gonna give you a great chance of uh, enhancements to your media center. So once you've done that, you're gonna see update successfully installed. That's another indication that that went right. And you wanna click okay. And from here, just press the home button. So now we are done with the update miracle for now. And what we're gonna do next is we now downloaded quite a few things. Now we gotta go and install them to our Miracle Box. So what you're gonna do to do that is relatively easy. You're gonna go over to All Applications and you're gonna see something called the App Installer. Now that is where everything you download is going to end up. And now we have to go from the things that we download to basically installing them on our Media Center so we can use them. So we're gonna go over to App Installer and we're gonna press okay. And you're gonna see, it says choose device to scan APKs and it's gonna automatically default to local disk. You just wanna press okay on your remote and you're gonna see it, there's two APKs in your app installer. We're going to install those two because those are the two that were just installed when you did the update miracle. So the first one is Terium TV and the second one is MX Player. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the first one Terium TV and we're going to install that. We're going to press down to highlight it and OK to begin the installation process. Now you can read a few things. It says, do you want to install this application? And it will give you access to those things above. And you're going to see down below there's a cancel button and there's a next button. Now when you go down below and you scroll, that next button is going to change into an install button. So we're going to go down and you're going to see a change. And now that we have cancel highlighted, it is change to install so we don't want to cancel we actually want to install so we're going to go over and we're going to install this this will take approximately maybe 45 seconds to one minute depending on your internet speed so we're going to allow this to install i'm going to actually play this out so you can kind of see the time frame that it takes to install 
and we're going to let this thing install fully. And again, don't cancel it. Uh, don't turn your box off during this process. Uh, don't do anything that will interrupt the process of having this install to your uh, box. So we're going to just wait this out and we're going to allow it to complete the installation process because this is what we're going to need. So again, it says app install. You do not want to open. You simply just want to scroll down and hit done. So using your remote, scroll down and highlight done and click OK. Now we're not done here yet. As you see, the thing that you download is going to be indicated with a yellow star. That means you already downloaded. So now you can keep track of whether you did it or not. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to download the MX player. So we're going to go down and we're going to highlight it and we're going to press OK. And when we do that, it's going to actually ask us, do we want to install this application? So we want to go down and you're going to see cancels automatically highlighted. You don't want to cancel. Again, we want to use the install feature. So we're going to go and we're going to install this. We're going to press OK to highlight install and we're going to press it now and it will start installing the MX player. Now, again, this doesn't make sense, but doesn't it will make sense later while we're doing this. But this is the easiest way to do it. Other than that, it would have been a complete headache. And most people don't even know this process uh, exists to be done. And that's why MiracleBox is the leader in providing open source media services. So once this is done, we're going to click done and we have both of them downloaded and installed. So from here, we're going to select home on our remote. And now we're going to return to the trusty old home screen. So from here, what we want to do is we want to open the media center. Now, when you do this, you're going to have to wait for everything to propagate. So go to open media center. When you highlight it, it's going to be again, uh, it's going to protrude out and be a little bit bigger than the rest of the apps. And you want to click OK. Now, when you go into it for the first time, you're going to see the office of MiracleBox come up and put your remote down because you do not want to touch anything to mess up this process. Now, everything that we just did has to download and propagate and materialize so we can actually start using these new functions that we inserted. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for all of the notifications to go away before we make any type of sudden moves. And again, there is the notification at the bottom. So you're going to see the toolbox script there. You're going to always see that. You're going to also see the Merlin cleaner. It's going to automatically clean anything. Um, you're going to see that. And then you're going to see the building menu. Now, again, we just want to sit and wait patiently until all of these processes have completed before we do anything else. So again, there is the building menu. That was the one that we we're waiting for. There's a Merlin wizard that goes on it. on top at the same time. So wait till this building menu reaches 100% and clicks out. You're going to see a click and you're going to see it flash. Now, when you see that, it is OK to pick up the remote. We're not going to hurt anything now. So now pick up your remote and we're going to actually play with the ultimate app and use your new toy here to actually enjoy some high definition, high quality streaming the way it was meant to be. So now we're going to scroll to the right. You're going to see movies. You're going to scroll one more time and boom, there it is. The ultimate application. So you're going to see ultimate app underneath. You're going to enter the app. So what we want to do is we want to scroll down and that will make ultimate app kind of dim out and it's going to highlight enter in a yellow. So we're going to press OK. And you're going to see this little old style TV logo pop up. And what you're going to do is you're going to wait. Now, very, very important here. You're going to see this screen. When you do see this screen, you want to select the MX player. Make sure you select MX player, not XO player, but MX player. So we're going to do that now. We're going to select the MX player. We're going to press OK and make that selection. Now, you're going to see some of the change log things on here, some of the improvements on this app. And you don't have to read all the garbage, but if you want to, you can. And what you want to do is press OK. Now, it's going to ask you about a disclaimer. You want to accept it. You can read it. 
but you do want to accept it. It is from a third party application that we discovered that works pretty good. So just press accept or press over to the right to hit accept and then press OK. All right. Now we have done that. And as you see, there is a nice selection here of movies and uh, TV shows, really. And what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of browse around here. You can actually download. I'm sorry. You can actually scroll down, not download. You can scroll down and just see what's available. A lot will load up. If you want to actually change the category, then you can actually go up and you'll see where it kind of highlights and you can click on those three bars and you can actually go to movies and there's going to be movies here as well um, that you can actually watch so it has a lot of great content in here a ton of it and it's all at your disposal now let's go to tv shows and we're going to do this and we're going to watch our first tv show on this and i'm going to show you what happens when you watch so we're going to go to tv shows i'm going to click ok it's going to take us back to the tv show category and let's just go with uh we'll just go with the first one big bang theory so we got big bang theory highlighted here we're going to press ok and it's going to give us a little description of this uh tv show and for all tv shows you can actually select the episode and season you'd like to watch so we're going to go over and we're going to go to seasons so by clicking the to the right on your on your rear um, ugh, I'm getting tongue tied here by clicking to the right on your miracle remote or your miracle keyboard. And this is where a keyboard remote will really come in handy. You're going to go to seasons here. So as you see it highlighted here and you're going to press OK. And we're just going to go down to season 11. We're going to press OK. And we now can just choose an episode. Now, you're going to see this message for the first time. It's just saying that on your remote, you can literally use your play button to make a selection. And we're going to do that. So what we want to do is we want to highlight OK to acknowledge that we saw this and we really don't want to see it again. And so we're going to press OK. So up top, you can actually see me go through the different episodes. There's season 11, episode one, episode two. And we're just going to go to episode one. We're going to press play and not okay we're going to press play and since we have it highlighted it will play episode one now you're going to see a thing that pops up here for the first time that says uh switch video player we don't need to worry about that so we're going to hit return and get rid of that and now it's going to give us a bunch of hd links to pick from it actually scraped every available source it could find to give us options for this episode so we're going to go down to watch this in HD. So we're going to press OK to make a selection. And it's going to give us the option to play it, play it with subtitles, play with or download or download with subtitles. So, yes, if you get into a situation to where you're going on vacation, it does give you the option to download the movie to your box so you don't need an internet connection to watch it or TV show. So that's another great feature. Now we can't really show this feature because we have to run it past our legal department because it does download, but it could download a file to the box and you can erase it later and you can watch what you wanna watch without even having an internet connection and just plugging it into a TV, which is a great feature. But we're not gonna do that now. We're gonna go to just play it. So we're gonna highlight play and we're just gonna wait for it. And flawlessly, it just comes in in high definition and you have the ability to pause it. You have the ability to fast forward and rewind. So again, we're just going to play it. If you just press play on your remote, it will play it. And you're watching this in complete high definition, no buffering, no freezing, and it just plays wonderfully. So this is why we call it the ultimate app. Now, if you want to stop it, you can, and the video player will actually stop it or pause it. But to get out of this and go back and make more selections, we recommend hitting the home button because if you hit the back button, it is gonna actually go into showing you a bunch of ads because the bad thing about this is that it does contain a ton of ads. So after you're done watching what you wanna watch, hit the home button and go back into Open Media Center. 
and just hit enter again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the ultimate application. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for any updates or any new things that we put out. And thank you again for being a valued Miracle Box customer. We look forward to sharing more and more ways to kill the cable. Make sure you subscribe at the end of this video.